from the warm waters of the South China Sea to the frozen tundra of the Tibetan Plateau. The Mekong River spans six countries. Travels more than 4,000 kilometers and binds together an incredible array of cultures and wildlife. Boasting a biological wealth second only to the Amazon Basin, the Mekong River is the lifeblood of Asia. After decades of conflict, Vietnam is experiencing a rebirth. The Mekong provides everything, food, shelter, and transport. A wetland wonder world of canals and rivers, like veins and arteries, pumping life throughout the delta and beyond. Man and animal rely on this liquid source for survival. On the river's edge, Hidden jungle enclaves provide shelter to wildlife, once thought to be extinct. And now a race is on to protect what remains. Fifteen thousand cubic meters of water passes down the Mekong every second, sustaining 60 million people along its path. And it all ends up here, the Nine Dragons where the great Mekong splinters into nine threads, spilling everything it has amassed along its journey into the South China Sea. Every year during the wet season, over 43 million tons of sediment are deposited into the ocean. Even this far offshore, the effects of the mighty Mekong are felt. Kondao, or Pearl Island, an isolated Eden nestled off the coast of Vietnam in the South China Sea. These reefs are home to a diverse group of marine animals. Hoa came here 20 years ago to become a park ranger, and he never left. The locals here have an old saying. On a clear day with the shimmering reflection in the deep blue-green water, it's as if the birds swim in the sea and the fish fly in the clouds. This tropical paradise has long felt the power of the Mekong on its outer reefs. The effect of years of sediment dumped by the river into the South China Sea doesn't stop one special visitor that returns to these shores every year. It's Hoa's favorite, the endangered green sea turtle. Moonlight hits the ocean as fishermen prepare to settle for the evening. Tonight, Hoa is on patrol. His mission is to protect this beach from intruders. This is the beginning of the nesting season for the green turtle. At the same time every year, they visit this beach to lay their eggs. Sadly, turtle eggs are prized on the black market, so there could be poachers on this beach tonight. It's a dangerous job. Hua and his team of rangers have to be quiet. Any noise or light will disturb the turtles and scare them back into the ocean. Hua hears scraping noises. Something heavy is pulling itself up the sand. <coughs> He's found one. This female was born on this very beach some 20 years ago. 
Now at breeding age, she's returned to lay her own eggs. The strong muscles in her flippers enable her to use them just like a human hand to dig. And what happens next is one of Hua's favorite moments. She may lay up to a hundred eggs in one single night. It's an exhausting process for the mother. Now she's finished, she covers them with sand and heads back to open water. Hua and his team are quick to react. They must stop her returning to the sea. For tomorrow, his team hopes to attach a tracking device onto this turtle. It looks as if she's crying, but the turtle is actually shedding excess salt from a special gland behind her eye. Other mothers are coming ashore. It's going to be a long night for Hua and his team. Kondao was made a national park in 1977 in an effort to preserve the island's unique wildlife. Hua has been working as a park ranger here since moving from his village in the Mekong Delta over 20 years ago. The nesting turtle that he found laying eggs last night is doing well. This mother has no idea that she's about to be fitted with a satellite tracking device for the first time ever in Vietnam's history. It's a lot of responsibility on one shell. A special epoxy resin is applied to keep the transmitter secured to her for the next two years. It will transmit her location to satellites every time she surfaces to breathe. Đây là cái cái máy uh, theo dõi cái đường đi của con rùa bằng vệ tinh. Uh, khi ta đeo cái máy. Ồ, là một kỹ thuật kỹ thuật tuyệt vời. Chúng ta hãy chờ xem con rùa chúng ta sẽ đi đâu. The ancestors of green sea turtles evolved on land and returned to the sea 150 million years ago. They're a species so ancient that they watched the dinosaurs evolve and die out. Hey. Biologists are keen to learn more about Vietnam's green sea turtles, where they feed, how far they travel around these islands, and if the Mekong River's outflow affects their journey. Some green turtles can live to be a hundred years or more. So this young mother could be coming back to this same beach for another 80 odd years. Hua feels a special bond with these turtles and he worries for this mother's safety. On land, this turtle struggles to drag her own body weight. But in the water, she can reach speeds of up to 35 kilometers an hour. In just two months' time, her hatchlings will follow their mother out to sea on a journey into a brave new world. High above the turtle's path, these brittled turns jostle for the best real estate on the island. Nesting site surprised, for the next landfall from here is the Mekong Delta. An endangered brown booby swoops down to move out unwanted guests. Spending most of their lives at sea, these pelagic birds only come ashore to breed. They're opportunistic eaters, and will investigate any potential snacks, including small green turtles.
It's been two long months since their mother left. And these baby hatchlings are ready. But it's not safe for them here. They have to make it to the water's edge. A helping hand reaches them. These lucky few survive the first step of a long and dangerous journey. Những chú rùa con về biển thật lòng tôi thật lòng vui sướng. À, tôi hy, hy vọng rằng à, khi chúng trưởng thành có thể là 30 năm hoặc 50 năm sau sẽ trở lại nơi bãi đẻ và đó một cái điều mà chúng tôi bản thân tôi càng sung sướng hơn. Chúng tôi nghĩ rằng các chú mẹ không thể bỏ mảnh đất này bởi vì có một cái mối ràng ràng buộc sâu sắc. Điều đó chính bản thân tôi đã thấy làm như vậy. Nếu không tin, xin mời các bạn đến. It's the start of a perilous journey. Hua has released nearly one million hatchlings, but only one in every hundred will survive these coming months. Large fish, birds and marine mammals find baby green turtles easy prey. To survive, Hatchlings cling to floating seaweed and grow strong feeding on plankton. Hua hopes that these baby turtles will survive, roaming the southern oceans for the next 20 years, so that they'll come to visit him on Kondao once again. Some are not as lucky. This rare albino turtle suffers from a gene mutation that affects its pigmentation, leaving it white. Hua has kept him as a pet, saving his life. In the wild, he would be easy prey for predators. Ở cùng đảo trước đây, do cái nhận thức của người dân còn hạn chế, cho nên là người dân đánh bắt. Theo tôi nghĩ rằng là con người trước đây, mà nhất là con người đối với con người nữa còn sống không hòa bình với nhau gây nên chiến tranh chết chóc. War has shattered this paradise with a dark past. This was Prison Island. Escape from here was impossible. Its remoteness cursed it for a hundred years. Over 20,000 political prisoners died here in prisons, built first by the French, then the Americans. The survivors of its torture chambers find it hard to forget. One was captured during the American war in the Mekong Delta and brought here for interrogation. The dreaded tiger cages built by the American military in 1968. One spent five years in this tiny hot cell with four other men. He was the only survivor. <laughs> Soon after the war, Kondao became a national park and won its director. He dedicated his life to protecting the rare indigenous species of Kondao. Inside this dense forest lies one such animal. The early morning sun is heating up the forest dampness. Dawn is the only time to see these shy, skittish creatures. You can hear them barking. 
there is movement amongst the foliage. Then a black flash with an orange striped underbelly. It's a Kondao squirrel. Giant black squirrels were once found in forested areas all along the Mekong, but their numbers are now scarce. What makes this squirrel unique on this island is that they've evolved into a subspecies found nowhere else in the world. The very first study is underway to find out more about these squirrels. When completed, they hope to prove it's the largest squirrel in the world. With no predators on the island, the squirrels have evolved to be larger than other giant squirrels. They can grow up to one meter in length, and over half of this is its tail. As quick as they appear, these giant rodents are gone. For one, this island was once hell, but saving the wildlife of this archipelago has given his life a real sense of purpose. Juan recently rescued this young squirrel, which was abandoned by its mother. He nursed it back to health, and today they're inseparable. It's only six months old. When fully grown, it will be the size of a cat. It took one many years to get rid of his inner demons. This island's desperate history has left it untouched. And now protected, it's become an Eden for its residents, human and animal. Above the waves, a storm is brewing. Every year, this part of the South China Sea gets battered by tropical storms and typhoons. Fishermen from the Mekong Delta find sanctuary amongst Kondal's sheltered bays as the tropical cyclones wreak havoc up and down the Delta's coastline. Out here, the weather can change quickly, and it's deadly. 50 nautical miles from Kondao across the South China Sea, the Mekong Delta, a vast stretch of southwest Vietnam where the mighty Mekong splinters into nine large rivers. The waters from the Mekong flood the surrounding land, creating a delta or floodplain, a wetland wonderworld covering over 39,000 square kilometers. 300 years ago, the delta was a vast, wild, wetland jungle. No one lived here. The emperor sent thousands of people and herds of buffalo to clear the land. Over the centuries, these wetlands have been transformed into an agricultural powerhouse. Canals were built, crisscrossing the vast floodplain to link the Mekong Delta together. It provided irrigation and a floating transport hub that today supports a staggering 20 million people, one of the most densely populated places on Earth. The human footprint has severely affected the remaining wildlife. Wetlands like these are the perfect habitat for reptiles. One species in danger is the yellow-headed temple turtle. These turtles are well known along the length of the Mekong River, captured and sold to the Buddhist faithful who release them into the wild again as a good deed. They were, along with this python, once a common sight along these waterways. But today, the illegal trade in reptiles in the Mekong Delta is huge, and it threatens all that remain. Even this clouded monitor lizard, a giant amongst Mekong reptiles, must keep alert, for his skin and meat is prized. 
This lizard, with its dragon-like features, is closely related to the world's largest living lizard, the Komodo dragon of Indonesia. Monitor lizards can grow up to one and a half meters in length. Their sharp claws make them excellent tree climbers. But it's in the swampy water surrounding the Mekong that these dragons feel most at home. These flooded fields were once a battleground with animals and humans both caught in the crossfire. The Mekong Delta saw some of the heaviest fighting during the war with the United States. This immense wetland proved a difficult fighting ground. Hearn, a fisherman, remembers the sound of the helicopters overhead. Lúc đó là chúng tôi sợ hãi dữ lắm. Mà khi sợ hãi rồi phải tính toán sao mà để tránh bão cho được, bằng được. But it never stopped him going to sea. For Hearn, this is home. Tôi ở ngoài khơi trở về thấy một màu nước xanh và một màu nước màu nâu và tôi đã biết sắp sửa về đến nhà. Hearn and his crew are returning from a long and dangerous month at sea off Kondau Island, fishing for cuttlefish, mackerel and snappers. The harbour is full of boats. It's nearly Tet, Vietnam's New Year. It should be a time of happiness, but Hang is concerned. He's only filled half his hold this time. It's about 800 kilograms of fish, not enough to survive at any other time of the year. But it's New Year celebrations and fresh fish will be in great demand across the Delta. That means premium prices. It's a gamble he hopes will pay off. Bán được nhiều tiền. Ăn, uh, Tết năm nay uh, trong gia đình uh, ăn Tết đầy đủ và vui vẻ. Back from sea, Hearn visits the local temple to pay respects to the god of fishermen, the whale god. Legends are told in the Delta of one revered creature and its powers to protect men. Vietnamese fishermen believe the whale god protects them in the stormy waters of the South China Seas. The bones of two such whales, entombed in a concrete grave, rest in peace inside the temple. Hung himself believes he was once saved by a whale when Typhoon Linda struck in 1997. Tháng 10 năm 97, cơn bão số 5, coi như thiền sống to lắm. Rồi nó nghiêng qua, nghiêng lại như này. Rồi anh em thì ở dưới ghe, người thì bơm nước máy, bơm ga. Rồi người thì nước nó lanh hầm, rồi cứ tát ra. Khi mà tàu mà trừ ra chỉ có máy hư hỏng thôi. Trong khi mà cơn bão đến, sống to gió lớn, thì tôi cầu mong gian giái cá ông cho thiền được vô bờ được an toàn và tin á cái vụ cá voi là tin á vì nhiều khi tiền đấm mấy ông già bà cả có kể lại đó là đỡ ghe đưa ghe vô bờ Typhoon Linda was the biggest storm to hit Vietnam in a hundred years. Thousands lost their lives. Min has been waiting for his grandfather to return home safely. Uh, 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 Hang managed to sell his fish for a profit. He's happy to be home. Hang 
khi mặt trời mọc con và khi con đến trường con dẫn nó ra ngoài đồng cho nó ăn sáng bây giờ dẫn người đi ăn mệt rồi về ở đây đi người ta còn đi về làm việc nữa Bao Bao is Min's best friend và nó rất thân mật với con người khi con cưỡi nó rất là thoải mái và khi con cho nó ăn là The physical bond between man and buffalo dates back 3000 years. Here, water buffalo is still an integral part of daily life. 300 years ago, the canals that crisscrossed the Mekong Delta were dug using the brute force of the water buffalo. This transformation from wilderness to rice field is owed to them. Con thích con trâu bởi vì con trâu nó rất là khỏe và làm những việc nặng nhọc cho bố mẹ con và giúp người nông dân đi cài. It's rice harvest day and Min has to leave his buffalo. He's late. Over three million buffalo graze in Vietnam. The delta provides seasonal floodplains, a perfect habitat. Bao Bao loves grazing. She has a young calf who should be weaned. But the calf is still hungry and tries to get a free meal from its mum. The fat content in her milk is the highest amongst all domestic farm animals. In the wild, tigers are the only natural predator. Luckily for Bao Bao, they have long since disappeared from this part of the Mekong. The buffalo shares the delta with the tallest flying bird in the world, the Saros crane. Towering over the buffalo at six feet tall, their wingspan stretches eight feet across. From a distance, they look like ostriches with their heads in the mud. This elegant dance routine of bowing, jumping and running is used during courtship and is a way to express emotion. During the war with the United States, these birds disappeared completely from the Delta, only to return during the years of peace that followed. In the seasonal marshes and floodplains, just one inch under the surface grow tubers the staple food of the cranes. Having found sanctuary in the Mekong Delta, this last group of cranes is now under threat. Their habitat is disappearing due to rapid development and the need to cultivate another crop. Rice. Wisely, this young reticulated python gives a wide berth to the intrusive humans. It's the end of the harvest season, and everyone in the captain's family lends a hand. In Vietnam, rice is a way of life. This is the rice bowl of Asia. Every square meter of land is used for cultivating it. 70% of rice eaten in Vietnam comes from the Mekong Delta. Producing over 400 million tons a year, Vietnam is the world's largest rice exporter, second only to Thailand, 600 kilometers north up the Mekong River. Down amongst the rice fields, a celebration is underway. The Lunar New Year is the most important day on the calendar for Vietnamese. Hang's catch 
made a good price at market. The trip brought him enough money to rent a dragon dance, with enough left over for a feast. The kitchen in Hang's house is a hive of activity. All of the women in the family have gathered in the kitchen to help prepare. Min is excited. He has never seen the dance before. According to legend, Vietnam was born out of a marriage between the Dragon Lord of the Seas and a Chinese princess. The mythical beast symbolizes power and blessings from heaven. Because of this, the Vietnamese have always regarded themselves as children of the dragon. A symbol of great and benevolent spiritual power. <laughs> it's the most important meal of the year, a time for families to get together and enjoy each other's company. <laughs> Hang hopes this dragon blessing will bring him luck on his next trip to sea. <laughs> it's been a long day in the rice fields. The buffalo are coming home. It's the end of the year, and Min decides that Bao Bao deserves a special treat. Buffalo love water. It cools them down and helps remove unwanted parasites. was developed by harnessing the power of water buffalo like Bao Bao. Both of their futures are linked to this unique wetland, forged from the Mekong River. family are staying up to celebrate the new year. It's nearly midnight. Everyone in the family is happy, except Min. He wants to see in the new year with Bao Bao. Rivers and canals link the Mekong Delta to Vietnam's largest city, 18 miles to the east. This vital waterway is used to transport the Delta's natural resources, and it all ends up here. Ho Chi Minh City, on the banks of the Saigon River. Từ nhỏ tới lớn tôi vẫn ở Sài Gòn. Tôi sinh ra và sống ở ở Sài Gòn, nhưng mà Sài Gòn là cái thành tôi tôi không không bao giờ thích cái thành và thích cái cuộc sống của thành phố hết. Ho Chi Minh is home to more than 8 million people. It's an Asian megacity. 
Vietnam's economy is one of the fastest growing in Asia. Rất là sô bồ, rất là đông người, rất là không khí cũng tương đối là ô nhiễm. Huang is an artist. He used to work for a multinational company. Công việc của tôi thì là lúc trước là công việc của công việc trong ngành quảng cáo thì rất là rất là căng thẳng lúc nào cũng phải lần như là thứ bảy chủ nhật là lúc nào tôi cũng phải để tâm nghĩ tới nó. Cái công việc của tôi thì nó khá là công việc của tôi nó khá là căng thẳng và nó khá là cạnh tranh và cái đời sống của thành phố thì rất là. He decided to put his skills to use elsewhere and help Vietnam's wildlife. Huang is heading out of the city. This is where he feels more at home. 120 kilometers up the Dong Nai River, inside Vietnam's largest lowland tropical rainforest. Forests like these have all but disappeared from along the Mekong, but this protected area is a showcase for wildlife. Huang now works for Wildlife at Risk, Vietnam's first independent wildlife conservation group. The team is heading deep into the remote Cat Tien National Park to release some endangered reptiles that have been confiscated from wildlife traders in the Mekong Delta. With temperatures reaching 35 degrees and high humidity, it's hard going. During the years of conflict, this hidden jungle was sprayed from the air with chemical defoliants like Agent Orange. When scientists started to survey the area in the 1980s, they discovered a lost world. Hidden inside this dense jungle canopy are some of the world's rarest animals. Dozens of species, once thought to have disappeared from this part of Vietnam, have been rediscovered. Like the Siamese crocodile. And the gower. It caused a sensation amongst conservationists worldwide and spawned a local interest to save what was left. At the base of a gigantic hardwood tree, a root provides the perfect place to rest and check on the animals. Còn con con này cái miệng nó bị thương gì có sao không thôi. Nó lành lẹ. Nó lành lẹ. Thì đây vô tới bầu xấu còn bao nhiêu lâu nữa hả? Đi khoảng có 30 30 phút nữa thôi. Bà bị trên nó ăn cái con cá. Đi trên xuồng thả cái con. Ok. Con dòng tôm thì cũng vậy luôn. Con dòng tôm cháu á, đi xuồng thả bạn chưa? Thả bạn. As its name suggests, the water dragon is a great swimmer and can submerge itself for up to 30 minutes at a time. The team is searching for a lake where they can release it. These dragons are popular pets in Europe and the United States, where this one was destined to go until rescued by Huang and the rangers. Huang takes some time alone. Jungle inspires him. Tôi cảm thấy cái không gian nó rất là đặc biệt và cái thời gian đó là đặc biệt. Tôi cảm thấy tôi sống với những cái khoảnh khắc của tôi nó có giá hay hơn nó có giá trị hơn cái sự yên lặng của thành phố này là một cái sự tương phản mà hoàn toàn mà tuyệt đối so với cái cái sự ồn ào của thành phố tôi biết vẽ từ tôi vẽ từ trước khi mà tôi tôi biết đi tôi nhớ là hồi nhỏ từ hồi tôi một hai tuổi tôi đã nằm ra sàn và tôi lấy phấn vẽ trên sàn nhà rồi và tôi nhớ là mấy bạn nhỏ chung ở trong xóm cũng bu tới coi cũng bu tới coi tôi vẽ thành ra tôi nhớ là tôi biết vẽ và tôi thích vẽ từ hồi rất là nhỏ. His talent has become a tool 
in the fight for conservation in Vietnam. Thành ra tôi nghĩ tại sao không nếu mà tôi không bắt đầu sử dụng cái 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 khiếu đó, cái nghệ thuật đó của tôi để mà để mà tôi góp phần vào cái việc giáo dục về môi trường và trong cái công việc mà bảo tồn thiên nhiên. Thì từ lúc đó tôi mới nói là có thể là tôi có thể làm gì hơn ngoài cái việc mà vẽ đó. Huang sketches the animals he can see. But the images of wildlife that remain hidden from human eyes are captured another way. The Javan rhino, one of the rarest animals in the world, thought to be extinct in Indochina until this picture confirmed its existence in 1999. Camera traps are the only way scientists can find out what's left in Kat Tien. Who knows what other species are yet to be discovered in this dense forest? The team rest for the night, and Huang finds inspiration in the beauty of Katian. Huang's journey is nearly over, and for the reptiles, freedom is in sight. The team decides to release the large python first. This pristine area of lowland forest next to a large lake is the perfect spot. It's a delicate operation, and the snake is angry after the long journey. He breaks for the nearest tree to take a rest, gaining his strength. This habitat is full of birds and small mammals. Once he is fully recovered, hunting can begin. Pythons hold the record for being the longest snakes in the world at over 10 meters. The team find a good location to release the two water dragons. Tôi thích vẽ bò sát và nhất là rắn. À, tôi biết đó là cái con cái những cái loại thú mà người ta rất là sợ nhưng mà khi mà à, thực sự mà mình cầm những cầm cái con cái cái cái, cái con thằng lằn, con con rắn mối hoặc là con con rắn lên mình thấy nó có rất là nhiều cái 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 màu sắc cái sự sắp xếp trên cái vảy của nó những cái màu sắc trên cái trên cái người nó rất là rất là thấy được cái vẻ đẹp của nó một phần nào của cái vẻ đẹp của con rắn thì là tôi nghĩ là uh, hy vọng là cái, điều đó cũng làm cho người ta uh, qua những cái hình vẽ này cũng làm cho người ta bớt sợ những cái loại bò sát này về nhà nhá nhà mấy vết thương này chắc mau lành ha vết thương này về nhà nhiều cá nhiều bò <cười> It's a long, hard trip back to the city for Huang. Cho dù đó là những cái bước nhỏ nhỏ nhưng mà đó là những cái bước đến trước, những cái bước đi đến, những cái bước đến trước mặt, những cái bước tích cực trong cái việc bảo tồn, đem lại cái nguồn những những cái loài trả về lại thiên nhiên nhưng mà cái hy vọng đó cũng là nâng cao được cái nhận thức về môi trường của của cộng đồng của công chúng họ biết được cái sự quý giá của của thiên nhiên của thiên nhiên Việt Nam và họ họ, họ bảo vệ nó. muốn bảo vệ những cái những gì đẹp đẽ nhất mà họ có trong tay trong lúc này
New Year is over, and it's time for Heung and his crew to leave the Mekong. It's hard to leave his grandson, but the sea is in Heung's blood. Tôi là người đánh cá, rất vui mừng trở lại biển khơi để đánh cá. He takes one last look back at the Mekong then heads out to open water. Chúng tôi rất mong cá ông phù hộ cho chúng tôi bắt được nhiều cá để trở về bờ được an toàn. After nearly 30 years of conflict, Vietnam is experiencing a rebirth. From Con Dao's white sand beaches to the Delta's vast wetlands, to its dense inner forests. Life and hope are returning to the Delta. The Mekong is the heart that pumps life across Vietnam, sustaining and regenerating this incredible land. <laughs>